I thought it would be fun to film in a different location in the house today. But we have really good lighting down here and I have filmed down here in the past when I did my unboxing. And I thought that the lighting was beautiful. Right now it's kind of like the sun is starting to set. So the lighting is a little bit different but I still, I love natural lighting. If you guys have been watching me for a really long time, you'll see that painting back there is actually something that I've had for a while. Um, back when I used to have a beauty room in my old house back east and she used to hang up on the wall. I don't know that she ever showed up in my videos but I just haven't found a space or a spot for her yet. So there she is, bare naked, bare butt. <laughs> Today's video is actually a favorite. What I've been loving for the past month and or two, it's actually been a couple of months, I would say, about a month and a half. Um, so probably a good part of September into October and now November. Um, I have a little drink here as like my other video. This is what I love to drink during the day. It's lemon ginger water with a little bit of cayenne pepper and stevia. I decided to add apple cider vinegar to this, like one tablespoon supposed to be really good for your gut this must be an acquired taste because mm. I'm gonna go ahead and start because I have quite a few things that I've loved I have some skincare I have hair care I have makeup I have home stuff and I have a book so first thing that I want to mention that I have fallen head over heels this past month skincare wise this is actually a recommendation from my friend Christine. During the Ulta sale, I got a 20% off coupon and I went ahead and purchased something super inexpensive. It is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% and this is a toning solution of pH 3.6. I have used some or the Ordinary products in the past. I like their Marula oil, I like their Mandelic Acid, the 10%. It's actually really good. But this, this is freaking skin changing this is fantastic and i believe it was about eight dollars and change use it at night um it is recommended that you just use it at night you're basically exfoliating the dead skin cells off the top of your skin it is glycolic acid and that's what it does so after i remove my makeup after i wash my face i do my oil cleanse I rinse off and then I use a cotton pad and then sprinkle the some of this on the cotton pad and I just wipe my face and then I feel like that prepares my skin for the rest of my skincare. Like I feel like it just kind of removes the dead skin cells off of my skin and it prepares it to receive all the good stuff. I can do a nighttime skincare routine and a morning one um, separate video but I just wanted to say that this is great if your skin can take it try this. I don't have any issues with any type of exfoliants. This is glycolic acid. I've used lactic acid. I've used mandelic acid. I've used the 10% AHA from Paul's Choice, which I love. I've used, I've used BHA. I've used blends. Like my skin can take it. So if you guys are sensitive, then you might want to stick with something that's a little bit more soothing, but this is fantastic. The lighting is getting a little dark. I just feel like my skin is a little bit even more glowy than usual and it's smoother and brighter and cl like just clearer. So the next thing that I have here is another skincare item and it is a serum. First of all, I ran out of my counter time and this it is upside down. I ran out of my counter time tripeptide radiance serum and I have it like this just to squeeze out like the littlest bit. This is a favorite but I wanted to talk about this. This is the Paula's Choice Resist Omega Complex. I actually had put this away. Once I started Counter Time the, from Beauty Counter, I wanted to give it a fair chance and see what the results were from it. I have found an amazing result from that and the fact that I ran out of this, I'm really sad, but before I ordered a new one, I wanted to go through this because I put a lot of my skincare away that I was using. And I don't want to be wasteful, I want to go ahead and use what I have that is not retinol based. And this doesn't have retinol, but basically it's an Omega Complex Serum. And it's supposed to be fortify and nourish the skin. So this is really good for dehydrated skin and dry skin. And I've been using this for a while now. I remember how hydrating this is and how beautiful it is on the skin. It works really well under makeup too. So if you have combo-ish skin, I don't know how well this is going to work for you. It is really nicely hydrating. But I like that this one has peptides and it also has Puccio, the Bacuccio Retin Natural Complex, which is, it's anti-aging. This is anti-aging in that it nourishes the skin and it hydrates it. Um, I don't know that there are any other anti-aging 
kind of things in this. I have to look at the ingredients, but um, this is really nice. I really prefer this, but I'm using this up and I'm just reminded of how much I actually really love this. So this is a good one. The next skincare thing that I wanted to mention is this Beauty Counter Counter Plus Lotus Glow Cleansing Stick. This saved my ass when I was back in Massachusetts uh, a week ago. You guys may or may not know, I don't know if I mentioned it in one of my videos, I have the cleansing balm from Beauty Counter. I love that stuff because that stuff just removes my makeup really, really well. But I hate traveling it with it because it's really chunky, it's big, but it's so worth it because it just kind of melts everything off and it's very hydrating. You can use it as a mask if you're dehydrated. They actually came out with a stick for the holidays. So this is this is part of one of the holiday sets. This is what it looks like. It looks like a big ass chapstick basically. You just twist it up. It has the lotus, the lotus flower extract in there, which is basically a um, plant plant-derived stem cell. Plant derived stem cell? Plant stem cell. Why can't I get that straight? Basically all I do is I just rub this on my skin with makeup and everything. You blend it in and you're supposed to wash it off. Just transforms, transforms into a milk and it rinses off. With the Beauty Balm, it's a little bit different because that one's really thick. You ha I usually use a cotton pad and wipe off the makeup. It's literally like takes all that stuff off. But I'm really loving this and I would highly recommend this, especially when you're traveling because who wants to be carrying those big ass things of beauty balm? I made a wonderful discovery this past month. I did a clean beauty swap um, for my dry shampoo. You guys know I live by dry shampoo, I need it. I wash my hair probably one to two times a week. I was finding like my hair was just getting really, a lot of dry shampoo was building up in my hair and I had to do like an apple cider vinegar rinse and after doing that I was like, oh my gosh, my follicles can actually breathe. <laughs> it was just really building up to the point where even shampooing wasn't getting everything out and my hair was looking just dull and dry. I wanted to look for something that wasn't gonna allow so much build up but also something that had better ingredients. I was reading the back of the label on the dry shampoo, the one that I'm using, or the one that I was using, which is Batiste. I love that stuff, but it has propane. I mean, I know that a lot of hairsprays, a lot of cans that have like, you know, the aerosol, they're all flammable, but propane? I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh, God forbid you like dip your head, like put yourself near fire like you're screwed, you know? Anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point is that I found a great alternative. I actually found this on Instagram. It is by the brand Beauty by the Earth, or Beauty by Earth. And they have a couple of things that I've been wanting to try, but I chose this first. This is the dry shampoo and volume powder. And this one specifically says that it's for dark hair, dark and red hair, basically like a cream color. Packed to the top, has pretty simple ingredients. It has this little spout and you basically just kind of do this. And I find like it just, it comes out really, really well. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's a little bit darker than your typical um, white, white dry shampoo. So I have used the, the Lush one in the past, which is that powder, fantastic, but it was like super white and I could always see a white cast in my hair. This one blends in really well. There are times where I do see it a little bit if I'm not really good about blending it in, but I feel like it blends out really well. It does give me volume. I would say that by third, Third day to fourth day hair, it's time to wash my hair. Like, you can see some of the oils building up, but I love that it doesn't build up. It was happening with the Batiste, and it was just building up in my hair, and my hair looked dry, and it just didn't look good. So I feel like I'm not getting that with this, and it, it definitely soaks up the oils where I need it. I basically split my hair um, in different sections and blend it into my scalp. I purchased mine on Amazon. Um, they do have it on their website as well. I'll link both. Where do I put this? <laughs> Oh, and that smells like lavender too. Like a very light lavender set, nothing crazy. Damn, I can talk sometimes. I'm gonna go in into the makeup and I'm gonna mention something that kind of works. It's actually makeup. This is another beauty counter item, but I have to mention it because it is fantastic and I have been absolutely loving this. This is the Beauty Counter Instant Glow Illuminating Cream. They describe it as a lightweight pearlescent lotion to the face and decollete. Um, and you can apply it over your moisturizer. So I typically will apply my moisturizer, SPF, go in with a primer and then apply this to kind of give me a luminescence. So 
think about like the Becca a flawless filter which I'm actually wearing today and one of the things I haven't used it in a really long time the Becca backlight primer that's been one of my all-time favorite primers and I love that but I do find like sometimes if I'm wearing a foundation that is very natural and kind of glowy it will me it will kind of make me look like I have texture when I don't have any like it really enhances every little nook and cranny and I don't feel like this does that I feel like this is something that kind of just gives a pearlescence luminous look you could blend this in with your foundation you can blend put this up on on top of primer um, and it just gives a beautiful glow but like subtle this one comes in a trio of what they call the glow getters trio um, it has that it has an overnight resurfacing peel which is an, an exfoliant blend of aha and bha and then i believe a highlight it just gives like a subtle luminous look to the skin i don't know if you can see that I have bony hands <laughs> like look at my skin right now I look super like I feel like I look very metallic and this doesn't do that I just feel like this gives a beautiful just a beautiful glow I hope that you guys can see that I can't tell by the by the viewfinder glow it doesn't have any scent I just wanted to mention that because that's available in one of the kits and honestly like that's a limited edition thing they don't even have this in the core collection unfortunately so lately I have been loving ELF. ELF, a few things from ELF have, has really, have really been kind of surprising me. This brush in particular I've been using quite a bit for bronzer. This is the ELF complexion brush. I typically have been using another brush for bronzer, but I've been using this one because I've kind of wanted more of a diffused look with my bronzer. And this is fantastic. This is probably one of my favorite brushes from them. This and the blush brush. I have two of these. I believe it's about $3 at Target and it's super dense but soft but not like dense where it would like pick up so much product that you can't blend it out. I feel like it picks up just enough. It is synthetic so synthetic brushes tend to pick up a little bit less product. I feel like it's perfect for bronzer because I tend to kind of overdo bronzer quite a bit and it's kind of forgiving. We might as well keep going with e.l.f. since I have a couple of e.l.f. things that I want to mention. The next one I did show you guys in my last Get Ready With Me it was a Get Ready With Me where I used the Starlight palette and it was a cool tone look and I introduced this No Budge Shadow Stick from e.l.f. This one is in Metallic Mocha. I found this at Marshalls. They have since stocked this back on their web website, so I did want to mention that. This is actually very reminiscent of the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks, if you guys have used those before. I love those, but they're super duper expensive. I have like one full size, and then I still have some from like a holiday set that I got like years ago. I know. Kill me, right? But this color is gorgeous. It's kind of like a purpley... It's like a purpley brown. It almost reminds me of that shade, that... um. Remember that shadow from MAC? I think it was called Twinks. It was a gorgeous kind of like burgundy-ish brown with a sheen. Kind of not metallic, but this is like almost like the same. I have been loving applying this as a liner on the outer half of my lid and then kind of smudging a little bit of, th of that on the top lid and just smudging it in. Like I have been loving that look too. I've been doing a lot of smudged liner type of look, kind of easy tight lining and then rubbing in um, some liner and just kind of making it look messy but I feel like the messy look makes it look kind of interesting to the eye so I have been really loving it I love that it has a little sharpener too so you can sharpen up the top if you want to be a little more precise of how you're placing that but these don't but one more item from elf that I wanted to mention really quickly this is something that I actually picked up a couple of weeks ago because I ran out of my beauty counter brow gel and I needed something quick this is the elf wow brow this i picked up for four dollars at target it comes in a little box this is the wow brow my color is in neutral brown it's i believe there's only about three colors so it's a volumizing fiber gel and basically it has like little fibers on the actual product that help to build up like your brow if you need help in that department it is a really small brush i don't know i'm gonna put my face here so you can see it and it's a little bit bigger than the the beauty counter one but it works really really well you can see little fibers kind of sticking out from the brush and again they kind of help to fluff up your your brows it doesn't make them crunchy it doesn't smudge it just builds up the brows really well and they kind of stay in place pretty much all day 
This is a fantastic find, you guys. Four dollars. I'm pretty, pretty impressed with this. Speaking of tight lining, one thing that I have been loving, and I, I think I may have mentioned this in my last uh, The Cool Tone video where I did that look. Um, this is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in After Dark. It's supposed to be about 16-hour 60, wear or 24-hour wear. It is a retractable pencil. And I think I showed you guys, but I wanted to show you in my favorites because this liner is fantastic. I have been really, really loving this. It does come with a sharpener and a little sponge brush right there at the end. It has like a little sharpener right there if you want to be precise with your placement. Um, I basically just use the black one for tight lining, so lining the waterline on the top lid. And I feel like it blends in really, really well. It's super creamy. It lasts all Day. It does transfer a little bit to the bottom lid, not to the point where it looked like you lined your waterline, but there is a little bit of darkness on the waterline that kind of transfers down. And I love that it doesn't get on my contacts. I have had certain eyeliners even travel from the top lid into my eye where it sticks onto my contacts, and that's a no because then you can't see shit. I have also used it to line my lids, um, not this one specifically, but the green one that I picked up at Ulta. This one is in Moss Boss, and it is gorgeous. It is a beautiful, beautiful olive green. I'm gonna show you guys right here. They do have different colors. It glides on really, really beautiful. On the eye, this looks so good. So I basically do the same thing where I align my bottom lash line and then the top half and smudge it, and it looks so beautiful. Time to fluff up the hair and get a sip. Hold up. Two more makeup items. I am gonna say they are for beauty counter, but I'm gonna tell you they are so beautiful and they are not part of the holiday collection, they are part of the core collection. So whenever you're watching this, just a heads up, they're probably still available. The first one that I wanna talk, oh, I do have another non-beauty counter item that I have to talk to you guys about. But this is the Beauty Counter Eyeshadow Palette in Iconic. It is one of their smaller ones. I love their classic one. It's one of like my it was my first beauty counter eyeshadow palette and that one's like I used it all summer. It's all I used. I'm giving it a break so that I can give other things love. <laughs> I'm trying. But this when I got it and I first used it, first of all I'm gonna show it to you so you can see it's a little bit startling at first. Oh, it's getting washed out a little bit beautiful like at first I was looking at this thinking okay that looks more like a spring palette well I guess it looks like a summer palette no this is a beautiful palette that you can use year-round honestly because the fall like there are definitely some beautiful fall shades in here there's these two greens this is like an olive green and this is almost like a grayish green beautiful I absolutely love these this is what shade is this this is pendant I used this all over the lid the other day and it is so freaking beautiful. This one is in Stiletto. Oh my god. My favorite shade right now is the chiffon color right here. This is the transition shade and it's kind of like a pinky beige, but it's cool tone and it is not it's the perfect cool tone where it doesn't make you look weird because I'm really particular about cool tones. Oh my god, you guys like these, these shadows are such beautiful quality. The powders just blend in really well. They are super pigmented. There's not a lot of fallout. Like these don't have a ton of kickback, but they're like butter. Let's talk about the elephant in the room <laughs> for a moment. This shade here called Sequin is basically one of their, kind of like their toppers. So all of their palettes like this do come with like little toppers right in the middle that are kind of glittery. You basically use your finger to top your eyeshadow to kind of like apply it and change it up a little bit. I, when I looked at this, I said, why is there like a bright ass blue in the middle of all these gorgeous neutral colors? Well, this will take your look to another level. It is beautiful the way it blends into some of these colors. So I actually did a look where I had this shade in on the lid and then I applied this on top. It almost looked like Club from MAC, but better and it just transforms the look that you have on your lid so beautiful like right here it's looking super blue but when you apply it on top of any of these shadows it just changes it up like like nothing else it's not chunky like when you look at those shades there you look at that blue it almost looks a little chunky at least that's what I thought when I first saw these but 
they're not chunky at all. One more thing from Beauty Counter, I promise it's the last thing. This is one of their blushes from the Core Collection. This was actually the one that was recommended. Okay, it was time to flip the hair to the other side. That was driving me nuts. Okay, so this blush I purchased not that long, probably last month because I want I need to build up my collection. And this was actually the one that was recommended to me when I got my kit in my Flawless and 5 kit. And I was a little hesitant because I'll show you why. You may have seen this in my makeup travel bag video though. It is bright and it is called Date. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is probably one of my top blushes. It is so beautiful on olive skin. It is beautiful on olive skin. Like if you have olive skin, meet your next blush. <laughs> if you're thinking about getting a blush from Beauty Counter, this is the one you're gonna get because it is fantastic. I Let me clean my hands. It's super pigmented, like I'm barely touching. It's almost like a terracotta and I'm not into colors like this, believe me. Like when I saw this, I'm like, no. I saw swatches online, I was like, no, I can't. I just can't go, go that route because I like boring things where I don't have to think about it. Well, I decided to just shut the heck up and trust the process and I am in love. I love this blush. It is beautiful. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It's brightening. It's almost like it gives you kind of, it gives you life. And it lasts all day. It doesn't oxidize on me, which I find with a lot of blushes. You have to be careful. They are really pigmented. I dip my, my e.l.f. brush just once and I do have to shake it off and then I tap it in and blend it and it's like, I'm done. This color is beautiful. Okay, one more makeup item that I totally forgot. I left it on the pile here. This is the Hint Beauty Duet Concealer. Is that what it's called? Duet Perfecting Concealer. My shade is in medium. I'm gonna show you guys. It comes in a little pot. And as you guys know, I'm always struggling with concealer. I'm always like trying to find the best thing. As I'm getting older, it's getting tougher to like find the best thing for your under eyes. And I have learned <laughs> that it really depends on how you're applying it and how much you're applying. And you have to make sure you moisturize under your eyes, which I have been diligent about doing. And I did change my technique and how I apply. How I apply my concealer now. I basically just use my hands. I use my ring finger to apply my concealer and I feel like that's the best tool that's not gonna make your under eye look like you're 90. You're still gonna get it creasing under your lid, into your lines, it just happens as you get older, you guys. That's just the way. But this concealer, I feel like it's very emollient. I feel like it wears really well throughout the day. It is about a medium coverage. Just to give you background, Hint Beauty is part of the Clean Beauty, is a Clean Beauty brand and that's why I was kind of attracted to it. A lot of people compare this one to the RMS Uncover Concealer, which I hear great reviews about. I had heard somewhere that this one was a little bit better in terms of coverage, and I usually like something that's a little bit more medium to full coverage because my under eyes can sometimes be a little bit on the darker side. What I love about this concealer is that I can wear this on its own without using my corrector and it covers super well, and sometimes I don't even have to set this. Like, I, I've used this without setting it. Like, if I'm going to the gym, my under eyes look crazy, and I'm like, dang, I need something to cover that. <laughs> I'll just dip in here, put it on, and I'm good. Very, very emollient. It's not drying whatsoever. You need so little. It does wear pretty well throughout the day. I wouldn't say that it's like the most long-lasting one that I've had but it wears beautifully. Like it doesn't look cracked at the end of the day. It doesn't look make you look like you have dark under eyes under you. It doesn't make your dark under eyes look worse, which some concealers can make you do at the end of the day. So I really have been loving that. Non-makeup, so we're gonna move on to home items. I have a wax warmer that I picked up from Target that I have been loving and I think it's on, it's right there. I got it for $16.99 and it's just so pretty like at night, you can see like the little dots just kind of radiating out. Anyway, that's not the thing that I wanted to talk about, but I will post this one. Um, I picked this up right where I picked that wax warmer, and this is the Adore Pumpkin Apple Strudel. Holy smokes, how yum. Your home will smell like fall. It will. You can still use this in the winter because it just makes your home smell homey, which I love. I love, especially being in a new home, you kind of want to incorporate your own scents and may not make sure that it smells good. I live with all boys, so I always have to make sure that this house smells really good. I only have one left, and I'm going back to Target to pick up another one. It smells like oh, pumpkin, it smells like apple, it smells like a hint of cinnamon, not super cinnamony. It just smells like a strudel. A new home item appliance 
type of thing from my kitchen that I have been loving. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me rave about this. You've seen me post about this and some of you already went out and bought this because of that. Are on the keto journey, you've probably heard of shuffles, which are basically like waffles made out of like egg and cheese and anything else you want to add in there. I had seen a lot of recipes and they recommended that you pick up this little mini waffle maker from Target. And you can actually get this on Amazon, Target, I don't know where else they sell it, but it is tiny. I didn't realize how tiny it was until I actually walked up to it. I was like, really? It is $10. The first time I saw it, I didn't pick it up because I was like, there's no way. Like, is that really worth $10? It is tiny, like look, this is my head, this is the waffle maker. It fits right in my hand. This is the shade that I had because it was either this one or red. Um, it has a little um, light indicator where it indicates that it's on. Or when your waffle is ready, it'll turn off. So it basically is just like a waffle maker, but it's a mini size. This, I feel like my, my mini waffles or my shuffles are done in like no time, but I love like, making different types or different ones that give you a different taste so it's almost like it almost acts like bread there's so many recipes online that having this little thing here has been useful especially if you're on keto and kind of miss the bread and the waffle if you've been making shuffles and you have a favorite recipe you want to share please share that down below last thing that i want to mention is a book favorite i actually am not done reading this but i have gotten so much good information from this book that I wanted to share with you here. This is Beyond the Pill by Dr. Jolene Bryan. Fantastic read. She talks, she wrote this book like she were talking to you. She's so down to earth. I've listened to her in podcasts and love the way she talks and speaks. And she's really down to earth, easy to understand. She talks to you like so that you can get it. And you get it. She doesn't talk above you. The way she talks to you here, it's almost like if she's talking to you like a girlfriend. And she's giving you advice uh, if you are on a pill, if you're trying to get off the pill, if you've been off the pill. If you have a cycle, then you should probably read this anyway because honestly, she gives you so much information about what's been what's going on in your body that you're like, holy crap. <laughs> so she gives you information on how to balance your hormones if you're coming off the pill, how to keep them balanced and and how to support your body when you are on the pill if you're staying on birth control um, because there are side effects to birth control that we are not made aware of and we don't know that until we're on it or we're trying to come off of it and it's a pretty scary thing and she kind of gives you information on how to support your body if you're gonna come off, if you're going to stay on it, what to do so that you can feel better. This is a fantastic read and she is on instagram as well i don't know that she has a youtube channel but she is fantastic i really absolutely love her information there's a lot of people that i follow on instagram and or youtube who i find like their information for wellness and nutrition and health in general are super useful if you guys want me to do something like a video on that let me know because there's a few people that are like my go-to's for certain things and i think that's really important for for you to be your own advocate when you're trying to learn about how to do better for yourself, you want to you want to change your diet or you want to improve something in your life, like you have to be your own advocate. You can't just wait for things to come to you. You have to do your own research, honestly. And I feel like I have found some really good gems here on YouTube and on Instagram and in general that I want to share that with you if you guys are open for me to share that with you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to me talk all this time. I'm literally like dying. I hope I can cut this video down. I'm looking at one more thing that I forgot, but I'm not going to mention it because I'm going to have to do a separate video on the holiday sets for Beauty Connor because like my favorite things from all the sets because honestly, like I feel like I left out so much and there's so much to talk about. So I'm gonna just leave it here, I already talked enough. Everything that I talked about today will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video, bye.